In this video, we're going to introduce the plastic bank. The plastic bank kind of builds on this ID and it builds on a problem. And they try to wrap a business model around this problem, and that is the plastic problem. The oceans is full of plastic, and it's said that if we don't do anything about this problem, it's going to be more plastic than fish in the sea within 2050. And the Plastic Bank built a business model to solve this problem in a way that is improving sustainability outcomes while also turning a profit. It started out with a, with a pilot in, in Haiti, uh, where they paid poor people to collect uh, plastic before it entered the ocean. The whole idea is to turn trash into cash. The basic idea of the Plastic Bank was this notion that there's all this plastic lying around for free. But if you turn that plastic into uh, the uh, glass in a, a Mercedes light or into some other product, it actually has value. So how can you turn this trash into cash? How can you turn this waste into value? So how then is the plastic bank creating, delivering and capturing value? This is interesting because they're really solving problems for multiple stakeholders they, in some sense, have a value proposition to the collectors. If you bring us plastic, we will give you payment or products or services in exchange for that plastic. They have a value proposition to the buyers who get recycled plastic that they can use in their own operations. So their business model is, in some sense, two-tiered. Uh, they get their income streams from the buyers of the plastic and they of course have costs associated with running the operations on the ground in Haiti, which includes kiosks where you can deliver your uh, plastic, it is also a logistics operation and so on. The plastic problem is a huge global problem. Haiti was the pilot for the plastic bank, but now they're spreading this business model to other parts of the world as well. Now they're entering Asia with the Philippines and also Bali. So this is a, an important dimension of any business model that wants to have real sustainability impact. Can you scale it? Can you take it to new places, new markets and make it bigger, thereby making the positive impact bigger than in the first pilot? And that all depends on what kind of value propositions you can make for different stakeholders. And it also matters what kind of partnership you make. Because from the pilot in, in Haiti to spreading this model all around the world, then you need different kinds of partners. And you need to build, as they are working on now, to build an ecosystem together with other kinds of companies that uh, together can create a lot more value for both people, uh, the planet, and also the economy as a whole. And if you look at the second phase of the plastic bank when they moved into Asia. One of the key things they did was to start collaborating with other companies in this ecosystem that Sinung describes. So one of the things they did, they went to IBM and started working together with IBM on building a cryptocurrency platform which would allow them to provide payment to collectors using uh, cryptocurrencies rather than simple payments of uh, products or services. So what we see here is the development of a business model from the pilot to an ecosystem today with several companies who try to collaborate on solving not only one problem, the plastic problem, but the plastic problem, the poverty problem, the, po the problem that people do not have insurance, for instance, and so on and so forth. So we're seeing here a transformation uh, of a business model that it's redesigned together with partners in new alliances. One way of thinking about this is to see the plastic bank as becoming a platform. So in their, the new version of their business model, you could easily see how other kinds of companies could be um, offering, let's say, financial services or other kinds of services uh, to the collectors in um, exchange for the plastic that they bring. And in such a situation, the plastic bank would no longer be the single unit that provided payments to, uh, to uh, plastic collectors. Other players in their ecosystem could really enter the business model and offer their own products and services into the mix. In the future, 
we need lots of business models like this. This is just one example from the pilot to the big ecosystem, and now it includes lots of different stakeholders and also lots of different kinds of companies with different kinds of problems that they want to solve. But in the future, we need lots of different kinds of business models to solve these global sustainability problems that we, that we have. And the striking thing about the plastic bank business model is how they take several different sustainability challenges, problems in the oceans, the plastic problem, poverty, and so on, and they try to build a business model and ultimately a sort of platform that allows companies to come together and try to tackle all of those problems at the same time.